Just as we went on air, we had a couple of clips of Donald Trump's uh, press conference with Vladimir Putin. And I have to say that the and, and, and please don't misinterpret me, but I have to say that the response to that press conference was far more dramatic than I had anticipated. And it it's it's fascinating uh, to me, it, and maybe part of it is because, you know, we've been tracking this stuff, and um, it's, I think, to a certain extent, what we're seeing with this press conference yesterday, right? Because there's really nothing but the press conference that people are are reacting to, although I will say this indictment of this, um, of a woman uh, as an alleged Russian spy and her relationship to the NRA, I think, is a pretty huge. But I don't think that's what people are reacting to in the media. And there, the behavior of Donald Trump uh, seems to suggest that he is, uh, in, in, in maybe some type of asset or uh, for. Uh, for Putin. I, I don't know that he is, frankly. Um, but certainly the there is outrage from not all four quarters, but I'd say about three quarters. Right. Like, you know, Sean Hannity is still with the president, but uh, folks like Neil Cavuto and Newt Gingrich and uh, Republican senators and staffers. And uh, there's a lot of activity, th particularly this week that indicate people are a little bit less um, convinced that they are going to be around or that Republicans are going to be in charge um, in the coming months. And I think to a certain extent, the reaction from the press conference yesterday was, was a surrogate. It allowed, it allowed people who needed to justify stepping away from Donald Trump to do so because it's just too hard of a sell to talk about anything with with nuance or the sort of the broad aggregate of of evidence much easier just to sort of say like there's Donald Trump apologizing for America in front of uh, uh, in front of Putin and saying about his own Defense uh, Department of National Intelligence uh, chief that, well, you know, and we mentioned this yesterday, he um, he said one thing and but Putin says another like, I don't know who to believe. And I don't know. I mean, even if you think about that in the context of. Of a small business, right, I mean. You, people would like that's not appropriate you should back your guy not your competitors uh word at least in public and i don't know fidelity to truth well yeah. i mean the thing is i'm not <laughs> i'm not i'm not one of those people who get too you know worried about the sort of the formal actions of the president when it comes to like rhetoric and whatnot but apparently a lot of people are or a lot of people pretend to be. I mean, I think, um, you know, for for someone who would say, like, this is where I draw the line when the president says that uh, Dan Coates's word is not better than Vladimir Putin's. I, I would have drawn the line around the kidnapping of the babies. Yeah. That that to me seems like a good line to draw. Uh, there's others. There's a, I mean, I would have drawn the line. You can know, always find an earlier line with there, Trump. there's a lot of lines. <laughs> But for this one, it just seems like it's more convenient. And in some ways, it's a reflection of some of the sadder parts of our uh, country and our national psyche. With that said, I'll take it. Because, and I haven't seen, I mean, we've seen like sort of like generic reactions. But the idea that this can't be leveraged into saying we, we can't really have a vote. On, on on Brett Kavanaugh. And, and, and I'm going to get into a little bit about why um, the judiciary is still 
I, I feel as strongly about this today as I did two years ago from today. That for all that we're seeing with Democrats challenging in districts that they have no business challenging, for all that we've seen in uh, Ocasio-Cortez, Ocasio-Cortez going uh, across the country and uh, perhaps uh, developing a, a even more progressive caucus, even more left uh, caucus in the House. For all that we're seeing, at the end of the day, the judiciary can stop all of it in its tracks. And it, it can stop policy. It can stop voting gains. And we'll talk about that uh, more. But all of it can be stopped in the tra- in its tracks. And um, we will discuss in a moment. But so this is where we are. It's and, and, and we'll go through all of this. But this is it has been uh, sort of a, 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 a crazy time. And I think this clip. And we're going to see this. This is I mean, we're going to see more of this. There is a hardcore group of people out there. They were the dead enders when it came to George Bush. They're going to be the dead enders when it comes to Donald Trump. And Donald Trump uh, expressed uh, who these folks are by saying I could shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and I would not lose my supporters. They have been groomed and nurtured aggregated and combed and quaffed by the Republican Party for 30 some odd years, probably actually even more. Um, much of this, I think, in, in many respects is a fallout from the, uh, the Voting Rights Act and the Civil Rights Act in, in the late 60s, uh, mid 60s. And this is a perfect moment caught on C-SPAN that I think encapsulates what's going to be happening. And I, I think things are going to get a lot more crazy over the summer, uh, folks. And here, uh, here I give you a, a caller from Connecticut. Um, what's her name? Mary Lou from Connecticut calling in to uh, C-SPAN. This is from yesterday. It's in Newington, Connecticut, line for independence. Mary Lou, good morning. Pause it one second. This is the independent line, incidentally. (laughs) I love the independent line. There's a lot of mischief that happens on the C-SPAN independent line. There we go. This is, uh, she's an independent. It's in Newington, Connecticut, line for independence. Mary Lou, good morning. Hey, uh, good morning. Um, I'll try not to sound too... Uh, awful, but I want to thank the Russians for interfering with our election to stop Hillary Clinton from becoming president. That woman has got illusions of grandeur, and so hasn't her husband. That man, the whole time he was in the White House, was just fooling around sexually with Monica Lewinsky. He is an accused rapist. He has never denied it. And his wife never did anything to stop him from doing that. Mary Lou, let me ask you, do you think think Russian interference was the reason that President Trump won in 2016? Yes, because the Russians interfered. I mean, what would we do with Hillary in that White House? That woman, she doesn't know what she was doing. What a mess she made of Benghazi. What she did with those emails to put a server in her living room or wherever she put it. That's Mary Lou. And can- <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know what to tell you, folks. This is, you know, uh, fortunately, Mary Lou uh, does not seem to have the physical strength uh, to harm us, she may have a weapon, and um, we may have to go and take it from her. Uh, but this is uh, this is where we're at. 
The only thing more mischief than the independent line is the like, Obama's subhuman. I'm a Democrat. Right. <laughs> That's the, the Democrat I come from a Democratic family. We voted Democrat, and uh, I just can't vote for the Kenyan socialist yeah. uh, who uh, I'm a Democrat. friends with the uh, woman who's married to the, uh, the rapist. I vote for Democrats at every election. But did you know that since 1984, there hasn't been a single rape that's actually happened in the United States unless it was done by Bill Clinton? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm I mean, a Democrat. This is, I mean, there, is there anything there? Is there anything um, uh, more illustrative? I'll tell of, you what. I hate to, I hate to rain on the war parade here, but thank God Russia stepped in because if my wife was elected president, we would be in a much worse situation right now. That woman would do everything. She was planning on invading Trinidad to bring Russia into a proxy war into the Caribbean. <laughs> Cuban missile price was 3.0, except this time with the button press because of my wife's bloodlust. So there you have it. Thank God for Russian I, interference. Thank I, God. I mean, I think Bill Clinton is a gross piece of shit. And I watched the whole interview with Juanita Broderick, and I believe her, but uh, Hillary didn't do that. So. That's right. Well, I hate him. But, no, but here's the thing is that. Exactly. And, like, can that the, just be like clipped, like that ten seconds right there? Right. Right. And but but here is but 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 let me also sort of almost go, go a step further. It is not Hillary Clinton's fault that she gets blamed for uh, Bill Clinton, and it is not Hillary Clinton's fault that that woman represents who called in Mary Lou from Connecticut represents a huge. Not an uh, not an over uh, not a majority, but a huge swath of the American electorate, and you know, and there's probably subset. There's probably you move on the spectrum to like I don't like the Russian interference. I'm not happy they interfered, but I believe everything that lady said. You know, like like, like th right. that's a cr and so when we talked about Hillary Clinton not being a a good candidate, part of that was. They made some campaign mistakes. Part of it was she was coming into this election with massive baggage that was in no means her, a function of who she was or her fault. But at the end of the day, like, I don't believe that you have elections for people who deserve it. Like, you know, I, I can see maybe operating your small business that way with like, you know, this guy's been coming in, um, and I'm speaking completely hypothetical now, been coming in early every day and staying late. They really deserve this promotion. Yeah, like, you can't run that, things that way. That, you, <laughs> that, but that's not how you choose someone to, um, to serve the country. Right, like she's not, or to be especially a especially when there's a popular element. Yeah, to it. it's like it's just like it would be nice if you could do that. My wife was going to force me to rape the prime minister of Jamaica's wife so that we would be involved in a ground invasion there to bring Russia in. You people see nothing. Her bloodlust will stop at nothing. So thank God for Vladimir Putin's long-term vision to block my wife from being president. But but this is the insanity. This is Bill calling from the Democrat line. I'm a this, Democrat, too, this, by the way. <laughs> this is the insanity that exists in this country. And it wasn't. It just didn't grow. I mean, it was. There was hundreds of millions of dollars spent to create Mary Lou. It, it, hundreds of millions, uh, billions of dollars. Two, 2008 was almost a perfect scenario where you had Hillary run, so you had all these loonies sort of focusing on her, and Obama could sort of draft up and be sort of protected for like the I, first I think that's it. absolutely the case. And these, Even, these people are now preparing their brains for a preponderance of evidence that Russia infer interfered in the election. The, oh, yeah. yeah, well, you just saw it. She doesn't care. She doesn't care. It was worth it. It was worth it.